Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Let's School. So go and grab your pencil cases and your calculators and your lunch money, because we are heading back to school, yay for learning stuff. So of course Let's School is a school management game, we build the school, we zone out the rooms, we add the items, we hire the staff, we control how strict or lenient we are, all that sort of stuff, and there's events to handle and troublesome kids to deal with, lots of schooly things as you might expect. Also, cats. Apparently there's a cat pet part of the game too, which does seem a little bit odd, but you know what, it sounds quite nice as well. I'm okay with that. If we've had a hard day of managing a school, we can go pet a cat and that sounds quite lovely. Now this is the demo of the game. The full version is due out in 2023 at some point, but the demo is available right now on Steam as I record this. There's a link to the Steam store page in the video description below if you're interested. But anyway, let's dive in, shall we? Let's go and do some schooling. The letter from the old principal. Greetings, kiddo. This is the headmaster of your alma mater. Alma mater? I don't really know what that means. I think that's more of an American schooling system thing. We don't really have that sort of thing in the UK. Or we didn't when I went to school anyway, which was about a thousand years ago now. So I don't really know what that means. I'm not quite sure what it is. But to keep up appearances, I'm going to pretend I know what that is. Ah, yes, the alma mater or alma mater. Mm, yes, okay. You're the headmaster of that thing. That's good. You do look a little bit cat-like, headmaster there. You look a little bit cat-like. I mean, you have got a lovely moustache and a very lovely suit on, but there are certain cat-like elements about you that I can't help but notice. But, okay, so what have you got to say for yourself? By the time you receive this letter, I will have already set out to travel the world. Still remember that old rundown school of yours? Well, I've hidden the headmaster's treasure somewhere on campus. It's all yours if you can breathe life back into this place. That's why I've invited you to take my place as the headmaster. Go chase your dreams, kiddo. Okay, so our former headmaster has asked us to go and take over his role as the headmaster of our old school, and somewhere there is some treasure hidden on the campus. And if we do a good job at the school, we get the treasure, and then we leave the school and we retire to a beach and drink tea and pina coladas forever. Okay, right, that sounds wonderful. Fine, okay, here we go. Let's go and see what we can do with the school. Oh, I quite like this. We get to design the headmaster character that we're playing as. That's quite fun. So at the moment, we're playing as Henry Evans. And you look okay, Henry. You look very lovely. But no, 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 we're not going to play as you. I think we all know the perfect person to manage a school. And of course, it's Betty Cupboard. I can't think of anybody else better place to deal with those troublemaking kids than Betty herself. And we've given her a no-nonsense attire. Look at that. There are all these different kind of outfits that we could have chosen, but they look a little bit busy for Betty, and these look way too formal at that end. That one there is perfect. Jeans and a t-shirt, nothing fancy, nice and functional, easy to maintain, perfect for Betty. So there we go, Betty. You're all ready to go and manage a school. Okay, now we've got to name our school, design the logo, and then choose what the uniform are going to look like. So we're going to call it Cupboard College. I think that sounds quite good. And I've already designed the logo type thing. It's got a lovely square background in a very fetching shade of Geek Cupboard Corporate Blue. And then on top of that, we've got this thing here, which is the nearest thing I could find that represents any kind of drinking receptacle. Because of course that's going to be full of tea. It's a kind of a beaker type thing, like a beaker you might find in a science lab, but it's full of lovely tea. And the tea is of course a lovely shade of Geek Cupboard Corporate Yellow with a tiny bit of that kind of orangey colour on it, just to make it look a little bit different. So there we go. The logo is sorted, the name is sorted, and now we get to choose the uniform. And this could be quite exciting. Oh, we can't change the colours. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I wanted, you know, sort of hot pink or whatever, but never mind. Okay, so we could have that. We could have that. We could have that. looks a little bit sort of tracksuity. That looks okay. I quite like that. That looks sort of nice and casual. That also looks okay. Let's not go for that. I quite like that. Let's have that one. And then the girl uniform, I think, is already the sort of, you know, the equivalent of the boy one here. It's the same one. Um, so we could have that. We could have that. We could have that. We could have that. That one, that one, or that one. I quite like that one. Let's keep it the same. There we go. There we go. So it's all nice and lovely. I think that will do. I think that will do. So now we've got our headmaster set up and we've got the school information provided, do we now dive in and start doing some building of the school itself? Okay, so Betty's arrived at the school and we've met Ms. Lynn who says, are you the new headmaster? 
And we're going to go, yes, of course. Ms. Lin then says, my name is Ms. Lin. I'm your assistant. Okay, you're going to need to help us out quite a lot. I can help you with any difficulties you may have at your new job. Thank you very much. Although I'm inexperienced, I'm working on it. I mean, I've got no idea what I'm doing, so it's all going to be fine. Next, let me introduce you to the school. It's got a fancy sign. Try moving the camera to patrol the school. Okay, so we can have a little look around. This is all fine. Yeah, we can sort of zoom in and out, I imagine, and such like. Okay, looks like it looks like it's seen better days. Let's be honest. There's a few holes in the walls around the place, and there's a big pile of junk at the front here. Okay, middle click rotates the screen. Okay, there we go. The plot of land may be small, but it's just enough to accommodate our school for now. Next, let's go speak to a consultant at the construction company about sprucing up this place before school starts. Okay, I mean, that would make sense. It's not really equipped to do any kind of teaching right now, I wouldn't say. Okay, so clean up abandoned facilities. Greetings, Headmaster. I'll be your building consultant, Brick Johnson. It's a wonderful name. And also, I like the fact you've got a, see, a proper builder's helmet on in this kind of informal meeting we're having, but okay. This building hasn't been used in ages. I'm sure you don't want your students to see this place looking like a dump. So let's tidy it up first. Okay, that would make sense. Remove all the abandoned rooms. Okay, so press the deconstruct button to remove facilities, furniture and other objects. Okay, so we're just going to get rid of these rooms. We're not going to repair them. We're just going to straight up... Okay, oh, the room is gone, but it's part of a larger structure. Okay, that's fine. So the room has gone. Okay, that went quite well. The school has never been so clean and tidy before. It's a little bit worrying. Did you not have janitors before? Now get started on preparing the school. Okay, first you should build a classroom. Students should have their own class and their own seat. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. Press the build panel to build your school. Where is the build panel? Down here somewhere. But, ah, there. It's got a big arrow pointing at it, Penge. Okay, the panel contains structures, facilities, furniture and other buildy things. Okay. So a first grade classroom. Okay, so it's going to cost 20. It looks like, excitingly, are we working in, are we working in yen? Is that a yen symbol? That's quite fun. Um, okay, so 20 yen per square. Okay, a main body of each class, a room used for regular teaching. Okay, so it requires at least 20 squares. I mean, that looks perfect for that, doesn't it? Is that not perfect? So plot that in like that. Oh, facility construction mode. Okay. So we've zoned the room out. Um, hang on a minute. There's there's no door. Ah, here we go. We put the door on. It's sort of telling us, is it telling us to put the door on? I think it might be. Ah, but we have to do it this way. Okay, so let's pop the door. Um, put the door there, actually. So that, oh, oh, that's a blackboard. I thought that was a door. <laughs> can, we move the, can we move that, please? That looks a little bit silly. I don't want people to be looking at the door. That's not where we should all be looking. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Well, um... I assume that's the teacher's desk or whatever. I assume that's where the teacher's going to sit. Hang on. Rotate that round. Um, what's the big green zone for? I don't know what the big green bit is for. Okay, we'll just put that there for now. And then we've got... Ah, they're the uh, sort of yeah, the seats where the students are going to sit. Okay, we'll pop that down. We'll put down... I mean, how many of these... Oh, this is ticking up as we go. Ah, right. Okay, so how can we... Right, okay, so plop that into there. Um, okay, so let's just drop those in front of there, like that. Okay, is that enough? Press complete to exit facility editor and save your red. Okay, hang on, I want to move the... <laughs> How do we move the thing? I want to move that thing. I don't want... Ah, there we go. Right, put the uh, put the blackboard chalk or whatever at the front there. That makes more sense. I wonder if that green kind of area that was uh, sort of in front of this table here. I wonder if that's the area that the teacher is aware of. So if we had a desk, say, here, that student's out of the teacher's eye line and they can cause trouble or whatever. Um, okay, so we're going to save that. Okay, you've built a classroom. Now let's take you to our education consultant who is mostly responsible for staff and academic-related work. I hope they've got an appropriate name, like, you know, Jeff Learning or something. That'd be wonderful. Um, hello, Ms. Headmaster. I'm Saheo Song. Okay, not, not Jeff Learning. The academic education consultant for the new school. Seems like construction on our new classroom is complete. A group of students have just applied to the school. Let's have a look. I mean, it still does need a little bit of work. That wall's got a bit of a hole in it, but okay, we'll get on with that. New student applications have arrived. Eight students. Okay, 
Right. This is, this is fine, but I don't know how to look at them. Uh, I press the higher tab. You're down here. Okay, hello. Right, the higher tab. Okay, so press the admit button. So all these people are going to come in. So Noah Thomas, Lucy Jones, Emma Taylor, Jackson Jones. Okay, there's quite a few people. So when we do this, we get given some money for them coming in. Okay, so Noah Thomas, you can come in. Lucy Jones, Emma Taylor, Jackson Jones, Tracy Thomas, Tracy Evans looks delighted to be here. Olivia Brown looks okay. And Chang DeHeo is a performer, talented at rapping. So, okay, so everyone's got their own stats. They've got more creativity and more art points. Okay, so we've now enrolled a few people. This is good. Students have successfully enrolled in our school. Next, it's time to assign them to a class. First, find the class you just created. Okay, there it is. Boop. And now select classmates. Okay, and then we can assign all, can we? So select assign all. That's that, is it? And we put them in that class. Each class needs a head teacher to maintain student discipline. How about you appoint a teacher? Okay, so facility management status. This is the facility management status just there. Red represents that the management difficulty exceeds the staff's management possessing potential risk to their health. As management stress increases, the lack of supervision will affect student discipline and decrease morality. Okay, right. So does that mean there's not enough people looking after the kids? Is that what that means? Select a head teacher. Okay, so we've got either us or Ms. Lim. We're short on teachers right now. So how about you choose me to be the head teacher? Okay, okay. I mean, that's a novel way of getting yourself promoted, but right you are. You go and do the thing, please. Okay, so now that's come down a bit. That's good. <gasps> Have some tea and relax. Oh, it is the finest day. Class preparation's complete. Let's start the time. When it's school time, students and teachers will come to begin a day of life at school. I mean, if we could just go and have some tea and relax, that's fine. Game of the year right there. That's wonderful. Okay. Use the time control button to speed up or slow down time. Okay. So we might miss important events if we're flying through time. Now, very important question. Is spacebar pause? Yes, it is. Spacebar is pause. Well done, game. Good job. And there's a bird as well. That's lovely. Hello, bird. Um, okay, welcome. Ah, come to the new gates to welcome the students. Okay, so here we are. There's an eye above your head and in come the kids. Okay, so hello. I mean, yeah, okay. The, the path into the school needs a little bit of work. It's a little bit kind of broken. Um, possibly, you know, do some lawn mowing and stuff. That might help. And if we could fix up some of the holes in the walls, that would also be quite good. But yeah, overall, it's going quite well. And there we go. New students. So school life sure is exciting. So what are you all doing? You're all just sort of taking your seats over there. The students are ready to learn. Schedule courses for them today so they can start their school life. Okay, so how do we go about doing that then? School influence has increased. Current influence is high. Okay, assign one week of courses for any class. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is time paused? I'm not quite sure how we do that. Do we have to do that by going into here? How do we do the scheduling of the things game? Are you going to pop up and tell us? How do, how do we how do we do this? Where where does this happen game? Oh, there, there's a calendar type thing. Okay, it's up there. Right, so what do we have to do here? So course list. We've got humanities and we've got science and we've got a class meeting. Okay, so at the start of every day, everybody has a class meeting, a basic morning meeting, arrange a class meeting and be prepared for the day. Okay, so that's just, yeah, that's kind of your registration and then just sort of saying what's happening, any important messages, all that kind of stuff. Right, so if we then say, okay, you have humanities, is that all we've got, just the two? Okay, I mean, it's going to be, we're going to be very, very good at teaching them humanities and science, not so good at, you know, any kind of numbers or language or whatever. Um, okay, so how about we do that? So do that there. Assign one week of courses. Good grief. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll switch it around a bit. So the next day we can have it sort of like that. Okay, but hang on a minute. Let's just drag and drop these in. Why isn't that going into there? Drag and drop those in. So yeah, some can be in the morning. Some come in the afternoon and we'll just sort of mix it up a bit. <laughs> it does feel a little bit like we should have some more courses, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Science is good. Humanities is, is lovely and fun. There we go. Right. So all that goes in. Activity is locked. Well done. And the next week is done. Don't forget to arrange a curriculum in time when the new class is completed in the future. Okay, so if we make another classroom, we have to schedule all that as well. Okie dokie. That's fine. That's okay. Right, so time is ticking on. 
and uh, yeah, so seven foot seven forty three in the morning. They're in school already. Good grief! I'm excited for my first day at a new school. I hope the teacher isn't too strict. I think they're going to be okay. Right, so get time ticking on a little bit quicker. Get to eight o'clock. Everybody should be at their desks. Where is the teacher? <laughs> there she is. Right, Miss Lynn. I oh, know you're not a teacher. Are you a teacher or are you a student? I know you are the teacher. Right, in we go. Okay, so class is in. Good morning, class. Time for today's class meeting. Who's absent? Okay, there we go. Yeah, so we're doing the kind of, the, yeah, the roll call, registration, whatever you want to call it. In order to improve school operations, the Education Bureau has decided to give guidance to each school. Each level have different challenges and you can earn rewards upon completing them. I hope that all schools will actively participate. Okay, so challenges. Whereabouts might they be? Up here somewhere? Uh, try, to take, uh, try to complete one of the challenges first. Take this opportunity to clean up the miscellaneous items around the school buildings. You can get good rewards for challenging missions. That's what we want. I want to tidy up around the place because it looks like a bit of a mess. Okay, so press the level to view upgrade requirements and challenge missions. Okay, so what are we doing here? Press the follow button to pin the challenge to the mission log to track progress. You don't have to follow missions to complete them. Okay, but we can track them. So we need to remove, what's that? Miscellaneous items, 10 miscellaneous items. Can we only follow one thing? Yeah, I know. Hang on. Yes, we can. Okay, that's fine. So we need to go and remove some miscellaneous items. Okay, like that, for example. So if we just, do we just, uh, hang on. We want to do that, don't we? So demolition mode. Do we just click that? Okay. And then we can click all this kind of rubbish and litter around here. There's some chairs over there that for some reason we don't want anymore. Some sort of uh, stuff outside. Anything else in the school itself? Oh, hang on, hang on. Is there anything around this corner? There's some stuff there. Don't know what that is. Oh, there's loads of stuff in that corner. Get rid of all that. Okay, so we've completed that particular challenge. Okay, don't. Then we claim that we get some money. Okay, lovely. Right, so restroom usage survey. I don't know what that is. We get given, hang on, we get given some money and a chicken sandwich. <laughs> okay, repair damaged wall. Okay, do you know what? We'll do that because that seems quite a sensible thing because there are a few damage, but there's a bit of a hole in the wall down there. So how do we fix that? Um, it's a broken wall. Um, okay, build. Do we repair? How do we repair things? We don't demolish the wall. I don't imagine we did. Okay, we demolish the hole. <laughs> demolish also is repair, is it? Okay, right, so we're demolishing the holes in the wall. It seems a little bit obscure, but okie doke, that, that's fine. That's what the game is saying to do. Right, there's a bit just there. Oh, hang on. Um, headmaster, students are too distracted in class to learn. Please pay more attention. Find distracted students by entering the student panel and selecting a method to deal with. Okay, hang on. Pause time for a second. Pause time. Hang on. Things are happening. Um, okay, come out of that. Hang on. Is that our backpack? We've got some refreshing green tea and some bread. Oh, that's quite fun. Um, right. Okay, where are we exactly? Are we still out the front? No. Where did we go? Have we got a house? Have we got an office? That's the thing. Are we in here? Uh, no. Where are we? I don't know where we are. <laughs> we just, we've vanished, we've evaporated. Okay, I don't know where we've gone. Some lovely trees, that's nice. Um, okay, so uh, go into here, and we find the distracted students. Are they the ones in, in the, the, the pink colour? Uh, I don't know, how, how do we find that? How do we find out whether you're distracted or not? I, and how to deal with them? Uh, I don't know what to do. Stats, knowledge... Status? No stress, no stress, no stress. Uh, <laughs> how do we find a game? How do we find out who the uh, who the stressed out were well, not the stressed, the, the, the distracted ones are? How do we find that out? I'm not entirely sure how we find that out or how we deal with them. Um, they're not stressed. They've got uh, they're learning some stuff. Their stats. Creative order, athleticism order, intelligence order, memory order, um, and then all their portraits. I'm not quite sure who you mean, game. Are you able to provide any more information at all? Um, okay, we're just going to sort of carry on, and the, they'll get told off again at some point by that educational person. Um, new student applications have arrived. One student. Okay, let's have a look. 
Beth Jones. Oh, Beth Jones requires a break room. Um, oh, headmaster, students have filed complaints. Go and see what's wrong. Uh, oh, hang on, over here. Okay, you. Uh, hello, headmaster. Hello, Noah. You've got a thing above your head. Uh, here we go. Right, Miss Headmaster, there's nothing worse than when nature calls, but there's no toilet to answer. Hurry up and build a restroom any longer and we'll pee our pants. I did think it was a bit weird that we haven't got such a thing. Um, okay, so Miss Headmaster, hello. I'm Miss Sweets. That's amazing. The consultant for campus life here at the school. Students said they need a restroom. If you want to retain your students, you'll need to meet their needs and improve campus life as much as possible. Yeah, a restroom would make perfect sense. Okay, so we need to build a boys' restroom and a girls' restroom. Okay, that's fine. So that's going to be in here. Uh, I've got a research room. Oh, okay, that's exciting. Boys' restroom, girls' restroom, break room, headmaster's office. Okay, I mean, we have got a little space over there. Could that be a research room? Do, do we need a big space for research? I don't think so. Is that our current... That's the current toilet facilities. A little tiny out towels. Yeah, that's that's not very good, is it? That's not good at all. How about we put some loos over here, look. So we're making the same size. Requires at least eight squares. So hang, hang on, how big is that? That's ten. So make it five by four. That'll do. And then maybe we can have a classroom across the other side or whatever. Um, right, so that is that. So that's a, like a bathroom stall type thing. That's a bathroom stall. That's a stall. And then we've got doors, so pop the doors. We'll put the doors there, actually. So put the doors there. Two sets of doors. Okay. <laughs> we don't need any more doors. No more doors. More of these things, please. They're going to be more... I'm confused as to... Can I place more girls' restroom in the... Hang on. Uh, a sink. A sink might be quite a nice thing. So you wash your hands, that makes sense. Um, okay. We don't need more doors in here, though. It's... is it finished? Is that a valid room? It meets all the things. The facility is unreachable. It must connect with the outside. Oh yeah, I mean there's doors. That's fine. But upgrade requirements. Relative furniture. I mean, are we supposed to put... Are we supposed to put more things in here? There's a cat product. And what do we do with a banana pit? An obvious trap. Cardboard box. Have we not got any kind of... You know, sort of bins or anything. Can we not have a bin? An old bench. Okay, can we put an old bench in there? No, because it gets in the way of the doors. I've got one thing in the middle right there, cat bowl. I'm putting a cat bowl in. I'm just going to pop a cat bowl in. <laughs> there we go. Um, okay. Why do you just insist on us having so many doors? Why would it need that many doors? That seems a little bit odd, but okay. Right, and then do the same again for the boys one. And yep, yeah, hang on a minute, just rotate that round. Okay, so pop that there and that there and that there. And then some wibbly lines happen. We'll have a door there and a door there. And stop making us put doors on game. We're going to have a sink. Thank you very much. Pop that there and that will do. Okay. Bathroom complete. Okay, now let's watch. Uh, what? <laughs> I mean, see if it's too crowded or if it's too far away. Yeah. Okay. Right, that's a bit weird. Bit weird game, but okay. And then a break room. A place that provides drinking water for the entire school and quenches thirst. I mean, if we're going to build a break room in here as well, then where are we going to put all the other things? Where are we going to put, say, the research room and another classroom and everything else? We need to build some more sort of ground. We need to expand the school out in this direction, possibly. Can we do that? Admin department. They just break things down to sort of bits. Um, environment? <gasps> oh, wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Can we sort the path out? Oh, we can have lovely paths. Oh, this is exciting. Can we have outside? Can we have trees and things? Um, we can have, we can have some decorative bushes. That might be quite nice as you sort of come into the school. That looks quite fun. I like that. Um, okay, hang on. Hang on. Can we sort out the path? Because the path to the front is is dire, let's be honest. So hang on. Landscaping tools. So let's get that in front. Of, hang on. Can we put that underneath there? There we go. So This is good. This is a good use of our money. This is precisely what we saved the money up for. It appears to be free. We're not paying any money on this. This is good. This, this is fine. We like this. Right, so I like that look. Um, they've got stone under there. Hang on, let's have a bit of, um, bit of green under there, 
like that. There we go. That's that's a bit better. Right, back onto that one, I think it was. And then they're going to come in the door here. So we want that to be... Uh, oh, that's quite nice painting that on. That's quite nice. There we go. So paint that kind of thing on like that. And then just sort of connect those two up a bit like that. There we go. Just sort of connect that up kind of like that. So you can walk along here, then through there. And then, yeah, we need to demolish like this fence and stuff. It's a bit weird. All these random bits and bobs. Get rid of all this nonsense. Get rid of all that clutter. All of that. Away, 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 away. Okay, and there's a random light. Get rid of that as well. Okay, that looks a bit better. Can we get rid of the floor there? No, we can't. We could probably just change it to that though, couldn't we? And then we can have grass over here because we don't need path there anymore. That looks a little bit nicer. Not perfect, but better than it was. Right, okay, that's good. What we're supposed to be doing? I can't remember. Oh, no, hang on. The other room things, weren't we? <laughs> that was what we were doing. Some other room types or whatever. Um, yeah, come out of that. Go into build mode. Go to... Uh, oh, hang on. Build our building. Is that how we build floor? I don't know. Research room. Yeah, we can't put it... Not any... We can't put it sort of, you know, outside. It's got to be inside. Which makes sense. But should I be reserving this space here for, say, you know, classrooms? I, we've already got a first grade classroom. And it's not even full. It's going to be fine. How about then we get a break room, say along here so we can have a little bit of a corridor so like that possibly so a break room okay so we'll put i don't even know what that is what even is that okay we've got a, a tea table oh it is the finest break room in all the land okay right hang on a minute hang on we're gonna put that there and we're gonna have another one on the other side of the window and we're gonna have a door there and for some reason, the game loves doors. So we're going to put another door just there. Um, okay. And then we can put other things in here, can we? So a cat house. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm all for that. I've pressed the button. I don't know what I've pressed. Oh, hang on. I've pressed oh, I've pressed a height button. Oh, I've pressed... I've elevated up onto the next floor of the school, which I didn't even know we had. Okay. That's where we can build some classrooms then. Okay. <laughs> um... How do we get back down? That turns it round. Uh, okay, hang on. I don't know how to... That's up. How do we get back down? Is it F? Oh, there we go. Wonderful. Right. We've <laughs> we've muddled our way through, as we often do. Okay, we'll put another one there. What else can we put in here? Straight cooler runway. Uh, I don't know what that is, but okay. We're not going to have one of those. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think that's everything we need. Do you know what, though? In this room here, we could put a sink in. That's not a bad thing. Go and wash your hands before you go back to school or whatever. That's fine. Okay, so now there's a little kind of break room. And then, uh, yep, tick that. That's fine. And then we'll get ourselves a, um, a research room. How big? It's got to be eight squares. Okay, that's, we'll pop it just there, look. And we've got researchy stuff. So hang on, we'll put it against that wall. So yeah, one researchy thing, one researchy thing. And a door in the middle. Don't need any more doors. We'll have some more researchy things, though. Yay, that room is good. And we'll tick that off. Okay. So we're getting somewhere. And we're, we're slowly burning through our money, but that's fine. Right. Okay. So now let's carry on dismantling wall bits. Because we know that's what we have to do. So dismantle that. That completes that. And then press R. Goes up a floor. And we can carry on up here. Look, we can keep on repairing stuff. Is there anything over here that's broken? There's a lot of that. Ah, there. Fix that up. Okay, we've completed that goal. Right, this is good. How do we get rid of the build menu? How do, how do we make the build menu go away? There we go. Right, so go back to here. Claim our 500 monies. Thank you very much. Right, restroom usage survey. Okay, so follow. I don't know what that is. And a break room usage survey. Ah, and we can get that person on now. We can get Beth Jones in. Okay, so Beth Jones comes in, we can go down to here, and then we can have classmates, and we can assign you into that class. So we've got another person. Right, okay, run time on, uh, facility lacking necessary personnel, research, oh, the research room needs a person. Okay, uh, I mean, Betty, in you go, do some stuff, because I don't think we can hire other people, right? Oh, teacher employment, ah, no, here we go. Science teacher, science teacher, humanities teacher. 
Um, okay, let's get... Who's... I mean, these two are science teachers. That would imply they're good at doing the science. Uh, which of these is science? Teaching, research, capacity, management... Oh, research capacity. Let's get Yang Yu in. So Yang Yu, you can come here and we're going to change that. So Yang Yu can go and do science and we can carry on yeah, relaxing and drinking tea, as the game said. There are actual... There's proper bathrooms now. You don't have to wait for that. You can go to the loo over here, look. That, that person's gone to the loo. They're having a nice bit of tea, which is amazing. They're over at the tea station. Can we zoom in on those? What exactly is it? So it's a... Uh, um, it looks like... I don't know what that is. A hot, like a, some sort of like a stove type thing. And there's, I guess there's some tea leaves in one of those and a teapot and stuff. Okay, it looks nice. It looks lovely. Okay, right. What else have we got to do? So, right. People are using the bathrooms. That's a good thing. Is there anything else we need to do? Build trash cans. And then a snack bar. We can't have that yet, though, I don't think. I don't think we can have a snack bar. And I can't find where to build bins. I don't know where the trash cans are. Uh, oh, there's a lemon tree. <gasps> Ooh, that's quite nice. Can we put some lemon trees sort of over here? Look, put one there and one there. And one there and one there. They can line the front of the school. That'll be quite nice. Um, okay, research. Are we doing some research? Ah, janitorial. Okay, so now we've clicked that. Does that mean we're now doing some janitorial research? Yes, it does. Look, the person over here is doing research on their little kind of researchy board thing. Uh, the students have filed complaints. Go and see what's wrong. <laughs> Probably that they're in a school run by me. Okay, hang on. Um, I, I, I don't think I meant to press that button. Hang on, swivel around here. Uh, Miss Headmaster, can you a snack bar? I'm starving. Okay, we have to unlock that, I think, uh, to start research. We need to first choose a research goal. Let's do the snack bar to solve the current problem. I'm researching bins right now, game. I'm, I'm on the bins. Okay, fine. We'll switch over to snack bar then, if you if we must. So now we're researching a snack bar. Uh, research programs are now available. However, at least one person is required to begin research. Additionally, research speed increases with more researchers. Yep, that would make sense. Okay, unpause time. Get time moving on. How long does it take to do the research? Oh, it's filling up. That little bar is filling up very slowly, but very surely. Yeah, the picture there. Um, the students seem to be hungry. There's some bread in your backpack. Use it to temporarily fix the problem. <laughs> what? How? Uh, use. Okay. So we're just going to put some bread down. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit random. Right. Has that sorted it out? We just sort of chuck some tea at the students. Here, students, have this tea. Boom. Right. I, I assume that's... Are they good for food now? Are they fine? I don't know. I don't know if they're good or bad. I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm just going to hope for the best that they're all okay. Hello, Headmaster. Hello, Tracy Evans. Um, Right. Can we, can we have that? Can we not have... How do we get rid of all that on the screen? I don't want to see that on the right there. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay, so we're still working on completing that research. We have got some more students, possibly. We've got three more. Okay, and these two are going to come in because they need a break room. I think... What limit do we have here? Hang on. So go there. Um, oh, hang on. The class is about to reach maximum number of students. Build a new classroom or our students will have nowhere to go. Okay, hang on, hang on, right. If you think the school building is too small, the construction team has the business of expanding the external wall. That's what I wanted. Right, hang on. Pause. Oh, now press the build panel. I want to assign the students this room first. Hold the line, my good sir. Okay, so go to there, and we're going to put all of those in. And I think that's it. We've got 5, 10, 15. Oh, no, no, we've got, we've got a few more slots. We've got a few more. Right, press the build panel. Press buildings to view all building structures. Okay, here we go. Wooden structure, a building made of wood. Right, okay. So I think what we do is we get... I mean, what about over here, look? Maybe behind the loos. So what about if we just kind of expand over here? If we go into here... Why is that not connected? Um, oh, they're still building it. They've got to the foundations. Oh, that's quite nice. Right, okay. So come out like that, look. And build a bit there. And we'll have a classroom just here. 
Yeah, okay, confirm that. They're gonna work on that. Um, yeah, it'll take some time to complete. Please wait patiently and do something else in the meantime. I mean, somebody mentioned tea, so that's fine. We'll, we'll just get on the tea. That's okay, I can deal with that. Tall buildings. Yeah, we kind of did accidentally happen across this already, Miss Lynn. We know the building has got multiple floors. Yeah, we can flick through them with those buttons there or indeed with R and F on the keyboard. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, look, there we go. Woo, it's got different floors. Oh, it's got an open bit. It's got a little kind of open bit at the top. That's quite nice. I mean, yeah, we didn't have to build all that, really. But, yeah, the game did sort of make us do that. Build a five-square structure to finish building. Start building a five... Oh, I see. We've got to finish it. Okay, now that's fine. We started building it. Now they've got to finish it. That's fine. I mean, yeah, they do a proper job on it. They put, yeah, proper frameworks in, and they do, like, the foundations and everything. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. Click to go between floors. Yes, we're okay, game. That's fine. Right, people are using the bathroom. That's very good. How near it to research? Well, maybe about halfway through getting a snack bar, which is quite handy. So, okay, we'll put that out here somewhere. That'll be okay. We'll put the snack bar out here. Um, I've just, <laughs> I've just noticed all the kids, all the desks are the wrong way around. Okay, so the teachers here, <laughs> the kids are looking that way. Brilliant. Okay, right. Hang on a second. Hang on. Can we, can we edit this? <laughs> This isn't working. Right, hang on. Pick that up. Pick that up. Construction area is not in the building. Uh, I will, hang on. No, no. I don't want to pick up the room. I want to pick up that individual little thing there. There you go. Furniture movement mode. Um, oh, no, not that. Hang on. Back down. Rotate it like that. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. And then we'll have that thing and we'll pick that up. <laughs> We'll pick at the wrong end and we'll put that there. Maybe that will help with their quality of learning. That might be quite useful. Okay, so I think the class did end. Or did we end it by interfering with the classroom? I don't know what's happening anymore. Okay, right. I'm just going to hope that all these... How do we make that go away? Uh, oh, that. Away! There we go. I don't quite know how to make that go away. So I'm just going to... I mean, do we just jab enough buttons? Uh, oh. Oh, okay. I've pressed the thing. I don't know what that does. Okay, but it was a lovely thing nonetheless. And the new bit has been built. That's very good. Okay, right. So we've got a little bit of room to build in. There is a thing over here. I'm not quite sure why that is. Do we need to worry about that? Is that a thing we need to care about? I don't know. Okay, right. People are hungry, so we do need to get this research done. But is it worth getting another classroom set up over here so we can then get some more students in? Because, of course, more students means more money and all that kind of stuff. Got some more applications. Facility lacking necessary personnel. The research room. Um, no, it's got somebody in it. There's a person there. Unless we're supposed to get two people in. Maybe we're supposed to get two people in. I don't know. Teacher employment. Um, science teacher. Research capacity, 10. But your research capacity is 14, Liam Wilson. In you come, Liam Wilson. There you go. And we'll assign you to here as well so we can do super quick research stuff. Um, yes, hang on. So Liam Wilson. Oh, hang on. Researcher. Uh, hang on. No, that's not right. And then, uh, hang on. Where's the other one? Yang Yu. Right. Okay. So Liam Wilson is a research leader. Yang Yu is just in the research room doing research stuff. Okay, so we should now fly through this. We should fly through that. And uh, yeah, we're getting through that survey thing as well. Any other goals that we're doing? That other goal is uh, being completed. So use the break room. And then, yeah, we can take some money from a snack bar and then build some bins. Okay, yep, that's fine. Let's get time ticking on until maybe that's done. Let's get the snack bar in as soon as possible. The snack bar research is complete. This is very good. Okay, so continue research. Yeah, we'll go on the janitorial research, please. We did do a little bit of that. Pause time. Yep, okay, we can build a snack bar. So let's get that done, shall we? So that's facilities, and it's going to be a snack bar. A concession stand on campus that sells stationery and snacks. Eight oh, I thought it was just a little a little thing we could just put down. But no, it's an actual physical structure. Oh, I, I thought it was like just a little kind of stand that we can just lean up against. Oh, but no, yeah, it's a room. It's an actual designated room. Oh, okay, right. I hadn't sort of considered that. Where can we put that then? I think maybe we might have to build a bit more across here. Do you know what we could do? Let's clear that. I know we do have another floor. Do you know what? We've got another floor. The, the um... The things go on the other floor. The new classrooms can go on the top floor. Maybe over here, we get a snack bar. Um, maybe, yeah. If we took the snack bar all the way down at the end, look. So do that, and then we can have another smaller room possibly next to it. That's okay. Um, 
Right, what is, what's this thing? What on earth is that? I don't know what that is. Snack bar window. Oh! Oh, okay. I've made this way too big. <laughs> Never mind. So we're, we're just going to put that down. It's fine. Um, and then there's a door. And then we've got snack bar merchandise. The concession stand sells snacks. Oh, so they can get in if they want to. Uh, okay. So do we just have lots of these? Just line all those up against the back wall? That, oh, that one's in the wrong place. Botherations. Hang on. Move. No, don't move the whole thing. <laughs> no, move the furniture. There we go. Splendid. Um, and then, I don't know, a bench? Just have a nice bench to sit on there. Just that's the wrong button, just in case. Uh, like that, look. And they can just have a nice sit down on a bench. Okay. Uh, and then we need... Oh, hang on. Upgrade requirements. What's that? Decoration. So they want some decor in here. They, we haven't got any decor we can put inside. Okay, so we Oh, no, hang on, hang on. We can put a lemon tree in here. Let's put a lemon tree just there. Yay for a lemon. Hang on, put another lemon tree in there. That, the room has gone up to three stars. Oh, that's what that does. Right, we've now got a snack bar, everybody. Um, snack bar owner. Uh, okay. <laughs> We're idle. We're not doing anything. We're going to go to the snack bar. That's where we work now. We're no longer the headmaster. We run the snack operation, which is very important. Um, okay, we've nearly completed those. Get some snack bar revenue. Okay, when that research is done, we build some bins. And then everything is going to look wonderful. Right, okay, here we go. We're flying through. We're doing some good schooling, I feel. Okay, we've got through to the end of the day, I think, because time is rocketing on through the night. Right, there we go. So, it's before class. So it's, yeah, sort of, what, seven o'clock in the morning. Are the kids coming in already? I think they might already be coming in. Good grief. Right, so we spent money on some bills and some wages and such like. Right, hang on, put time back down to normal speed. In fact, you're at pause time. In this classroom here, got 12 students, but 15 seats. So we can get three more students in. So let's get, uh, they want snack bars. I mean, let's go in order. You, you, you. Right, so three people, and then we can pop them into there. And that classroom is now full. We can't get any more people in, but of course we are getting some more money from those people, which is very handy. Right, there we go. We've got a snack room over here. It's closed for some reason. Why is it shut? Um, why is it shut? Lighting requirements reach at least weak lighting. Lighting requirements? Uh, <laughs> are we supposed to put lights in? Where are lights? I don't quite know where lights are. There's a cat climbing rack. Um, hang on. Oh! Windows! Ah, right. We're supposed to put windows in. Well, I hadn't realised that game. There we go. We'll have some lovely... Oh, there we go. It's nice and light in there now. Okay, right. Hang on. Can we put a window over here in the research room? Just to make it a bit jollier. Right. It's open. I believe the snack bar is now open because we can see in the snack bar. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Okay, right. So let's see if they go and have some snacks. When it comes to snack time, I think they're just about to do their first lesson. So let's move time on pretty sharpish. Get through lesson one. There's a big load of trash in the middle of the room there, which we could do with getting rid of. Yeah, there is a bit of litter going on. Could do with getting a janitor or two in just to clean things up. Right, they're doing stuff. Yay for science. And are they going to the snack thing? I think they are. Look, they're going over here. Oh, no, somebody did. Well, there we are, at least. Hello, would you like to buy a snack? Sure you would. We've got loads on offer. It's marvellous. New applications have arrived. That's more teachers or whatever. And then we've got all those things at the back there. Do they not come in, then? Do they not come in? I'm getting, what's this, then? So that room's massive for no reason. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> no, they do come in. And they've had a sit down on a bench. Maybe we could make this like a nice sort of sort of communal area. Maybe we should put some more benches in. And people can sit down and have nice chats to each other and stuff. That might be quite nice, mine here. Eh? Okay, hang on. So let's put let's put some benches across that wall there. And then we'll have Yes, yeah, so people can go there and have a chat. And then rotate that round a bit. So we'll put another bench there. And then how about in the middle, we have some of these cat accessories. We haven't found a cat yet, which is a bit of a shame, but I keep pressing on buttons to rotate. Um, but we'll put that there, look. So a couple of cat things and one there. 
There you go. Just in case a cat comes by. That'll be quite lovely. Right. Okay. Oh, right. We've done the janitor stuff. Um, students of high morality and staff will use the nearest sanitation products to improve environment hygiene. So we've got a bin and we've got simple cleaning products. Okay. Continue our research into entertainment. Okay. So radio and a swing, but we could unlock, ah, languages. So I could teach them languages or possibly math. Yeah, that might be quite good. Learn some numbers, kids. That might be useful because I'm good at those. Um, right, here we go. Let's get some furniture in. So right here we go. We can put some bins in finally. Though I can't rotate that bin round for some reason. There we go. So pop one there. That's quite good. Then how about we put a bin, say, there and one there. People are happy about that. Can we put a bin... Uh, I mean, is it going to fit in one of these rooms? Can we put the bin in the middle? Yes. Okay. So we can have a bin. That is not the rotate button page. A bin just there. Girl, restroom one has reached two stars. That's very good. Can we pick that up? Can we move that out the way? Because um, the girl's restroom needs a bin. I kind of feel like they should have a, a bin in there. So can we move that? How do we, how do we edit that room? Uh, oh, oh. Hang on, a thing is happening. Hang on, we were selling food to people. Hello, strange visitor. Hello, nice to meet you. I work for the education department. My name is Jack Lackley. <laughs> okay. Um, I heard that your school has just opened and came to notify you that we perform school assessments every semester. The school's ability to teach is judged based on the student's scores. If your students get good scores, the Education Bureau will reward you with tea mainly. Otherwise, your school will be negatively impacted. Oh, okay. All right, that covers all the important matters. I wish you good luck running this school so long. So you drove up and you just yelled this out of your car at us, and now you're going to drive away again. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Oh, that was quick. Okay, this week's exam targets. Okay, exit the pass line for each subject to pass the exam. Okay, hang on, what's the pass line? So 22. So we need 22 passes for... Grade 1 students and 22 for for the Grade 1 Science and Humanities. I don't fully understand that. I'm just going to press the button and hope that makes sense. Okay, an upcoming exam. Hello, Miss Headmaster. As you can see, this week, students will take their first exam after enrolment. The subjects of the exam are Science and Humanities, because that's the only thing we know how to teach, even though we've decided to run a school. The teaching plan for the next few days is very important for the students' test results. Please arrange the courses accordingly. We've only got two courses to organise. <laughs> Where are the exams? Um, he can check which subjects be on the exam and the date of the exam. I usually pay attention to students' specific situation and change their schedule according to their needs. What? Um, okay, achievements. Uh, the free test requires we announce on the first morning of each semester. What is happening, game? Okay, right. This, I will admit, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. <laughs> achievements? Overview? Are achievements the, the exams? Exam overview. Okay, so pass rate. Isn't looking good for science or humanities. We haven't got grade two, no grade three students. We need 22, what is that, 20 people passing? Or is it these point things here that I don't quite understand what they are? Is it points or is it students passing? Um, okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna let that happen. That can just happen. It's fine. Uh, right, we're gonna claim restroom usage stuff. We've been given some chicken sandwiches. That's very nice. Um, yeah, we want to take the uh, when we edit that. Take oh no, not the entire room. <laughs> um, edit. There we go. I want to take the no, not the whole room. The cat bowl. I want to take the cat bowl out. That's the whole room again. Just just that cat bowl. Just just that. Please go. Just, just the cat bowl. That's all I want to... Nope. Something is in the way. Yeah, indeed. My understanding of how this works. I just want to pick that up. I just want to pick up the cat thing and move it. But I... Oh, what have I done that? <laughs> no, 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 no. Abandon. Abandon. Edit will be cancelled. Yeah, don't do that. Right. I want to move the cat bowl so we can put a bin there. Is that too much to ask? Is that too difficult? Maybe it is. I suppose we could just get rid of one door. So get rid of that door there. Well, I don't know how to do that. How do we get rid of a door? Uh, do we just sort of click it out there somewhere? Oh, hang on. Can we do that? Facility will be removed. No, don't do that. No, no, no. That will, that will be bad. That will be bad. I just want to get rid of the one door. <laughs> I 
all the hang on hang on that puts into furniture movement mode so can we do that no that hang on is that furniture movement no that's entire room movement mode that's whole room movement mode okay right the girls bathroom can never have ever a bin in it because i can't figure out how to move a small bowl or two okay that's fine sorry everybody i've kind of i've, I've let everybody down there we'll chuck a few more bins elsewhere it's fine hang on a minute let's go and find some more lovely bins to put down um we'll just pop them maybe we'll have one there and one there okay and we'll have one in the break room possibly and maybe even one in the um in the research room that might be quite nice there we go. Look at that. Plenty of tidiness going on. Yay for being tidy. Are we supposed to be having different teachers now teaching specific subjects because we have these exams coming up? Is that what's supposed to happen? So we've got three science teachers here and a sports teacher, although we can't do anything with you right now, I don't think, but three science teachers. So, I mean, are we supposed to employ one of these and then get them to teach science and then hire a humanities teacher and get them to teach humanities specifically? I don't really know. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, who is the best one here? What are these stats? So teaching, uh, learning, research capacity, and management. Okay, so teaching would be the best one because we want them to do some teaching. Um, oh, we've completed some goal things. That's quite nice. Why don't we employ Zhao, is it? Is that Zhao Chang, possibly? So let's hire you for now. And then you can just hang around the school for a bit at the minute. Um, okay, provides more science courses, bookshelves and low bookshelves. Okay, and then we'll get, I don't know, language one. That'll do. Start working on that, please. That'll be fun. But now do we have to put, do we have to put maths into the, into the schedule? I don't really know whether we're supposed to do that or not. We do have four student applications and there's quite a lot of rubbish around everywhere. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There is a thing we can build. There's, um, yeah, simple cleaning products. So we could put them, hang on, rotate it around. So we could put, say, a brush there, look. And we could put a brush just there. And we could put, say, a brush on that corner. Just so people can tidy up a bit around the place. And maybe even a brush at the end of that corridor. And just see if people use those. Is anybody going to clean up? Uh, yeah, that, that, that kid there has got a, hygiene is important. It is. They have, cl they're cleaning up. So we don't need janitors because all well, the kids do it. Mind your personal hygiene. I like that. That's that's good. Well done, kids. Wonderful stuff. Right, hang on. We can claim some stuff here. In fact, all of these are claimed. Claim. 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 Okay. If we get to 20 students, I think then we're going to go up a level. Okay, confirm that. That's exciting. Um, how about then? How about we do go up a floor? Um, oh, hang on. There's loads of stuff to clear out up here. Hang on, right. Clear out all the clutter. Let's just get rid of all the stuff. Right, there we go. So all the stuff is cleared out from this floor here. I think, yeah, let's get building. Let's get building up here, shall we? Let's get a new classroom. So go to here. Again, another first grade classroom. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. We're time traveling. Time traveling is happening. Hang on. Doodle -doon, doodle -doon. We're going to get through to in the morning. There we go. Right, so pause time. Requires at least 20 squares. I think we can have a classroom like that. And then maybe even, if it comes to it, another one next to it. That'd be quite good. Let's have it like that. And there's a bit of room out here. Do you know what? Can we make that a bit bigger? Can we make that one square bigger? Get rid of that. Hang on. First grade classroom. So that is, yeah, 10. So we make it five by something. So yeah, maybe five by eight. And then there can be a little bit of something out here. So I quite like that. Right. We're going to make sure they're all looking in the right direction. There's a door down here. So yay for the door. <laughs> right. And then rotate that round. So that's the teacher. That's where they're going to sit looking at all the stuff. Um, and now these need to go the right way round. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. Um, do they need a thing to walk around the edge? Or do they just kind of merge through them? I'm not entirely sure. Um, let's do what we did before. Let's get 15 of those in. So 15 of those. Wonderful. And now we can get some more people in. So okay, that. Head teacher over here is not doing a thing. So, right. The science teacher is idle. But the thing is, do we all just want to teach science in here, do we? So this should now be science. Ah, I see what's happening here. Right, okay. So now we can get some more people in. We can get some more people coming in. So students. Here we go. We've got four of these coming in. So one, two, three, four students. You have to click on this. Get the four students in who are unassigned. So put them over into here. They can then start learning about, 
Oh, yeah, see, do we, are we supposed to say do science in here? Do science in here and then do humanities downstairs. Is that what we're supposed to do? So 1-1 one, one could just be humanities all the time. And 1-2 would be science? No, but then... But then hang on, hang on. I, I don't I don't get how it works. <laughs> Surely one... You'd have a science teacher teaching science. And the, the, the teacher wouldn't teach the same children. They'd move through different classes. So this class is going to be taught science by a science teacher. But then they're also going to have to learn humanities. Is that right? Okay, no, maybe it does work a little bit more like I thought it was going to. Because we can see here, Mr. Chang does the warm-up for this particular class. So he's their kind of class tutor, I suppose. But then, on Monday morning, they're going to go and do some science with Betty Cupboard, weirdly enough. Why are they doing science with Betty? Betty isn't a science teacher, but okay, they're doing science with Betty. And then they do humanities with Miss Lin. Okay, so they got humanities. Now look, so it kind of... Because we've done that, yeah, I think maybe they do move between classrooms. Maybe that is how this works. I'm, I'm, I'll admit, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely convinced, but okay, okay, we'll see what happens. But yeah, why is Betty doing science? Why is Betty doing that? Betty is, Betty's doing the snack bar management. I don't quite know why she's doing science stuff, but Joe, you know okay, we'll move time on and we'll see what happens. That classroom, um, oh, it's, it's not light enough. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on, let's add some um, building, yep, add some windows and stuff. Hang on a minute. Um, a large wooden window. Pop a window there. Pop a window there. That's, that's got to be enough. Hang on. And can we put another one on the other side of the sort of chalkboard thing? That's got to be plenty, surely. Surely that's okay now. Yeah, there you go. That room is now active. So we've got some more people coming in. So we've got students in here. Okay, this is fine. That's it. This is a little bit... Assigning the things is a bit confusing. We've got some more furniture as well. A low bookshelf. Do you know what? Let's get ourselves a low bookshelf right there. Yay for the bookshelf. And we'll get another one over here. Just you know, have a couple of bookshelves in that one because it's fancy in there. la di da Okay. So now we're going to see what happens exactly. I'm not quite sure what's going on. But yeah, if we can get one more... Hang on. Hang on. We've got somebody who wants to join. Admit... We go to a tier two school. Okay. Right, so now we've completed that. Confirm. What are the new set of goals? Um, our school's reputation has increased. We received 20,000... It says dollars, but working yen, I think. 20,000 monies from the Education Bureau. Put it to good use. I mean, there are many, many decorative things we could put down. Um, and yeah, we've got a student with no class. Okay, so... I think what we want to do is um, go back up a floor, go to here, and uh, yeah, we'll pop you into there with everybody else. But um, anybody else? No. Okay. Oh, now I've got proper humanities teachers. Jackson Wilson is a humanities teacher. So do we want to get you on board rather than have Miss Lynn, who we're not quite sure if she's okay at humanities or not? How can we look at our current staffing complement? How do we look at the current staff? Hang on. Um, she is in here, I think. So, yeah, can we look at you? Um, you're, you are a humanities teacher. Oh, no, that's okay. No, we'll, we'll, we'll leave you with that. That's fine. That's okay. You stay and do the humanities teaching. That's all good. I'm a little bit concerned that we're supposed to be doing science teaching, which shouldn't be happening, because that's a bit weird. But, um, but, yeah, okay, we'll see what happens. Why have we got five new things we can build? Wall fans? <gasps> Wow. Congratulations, Miss Headmaster. After grading the school, we can now build an external affairs office. This will allow you to dispatch personnel to complete various events off campus. Running a school is more than just managing what happens within our walls. We need to promote our school to the outside world and obtain more development opportunities. An external affairs office. But hang on a second. We've got fans that turn on when the temperature is high. That sounds like a thing that we might want to have in the classrooms. So, um, okay, pop that in the corner and then go up and go across. Why can't I go across? Can't move. Oh, there we go. Right. So pop that into that corner. Uh, that's exciting. Right, and go back to, go back to all. Uh, what else was there? A park bench and a stool burp. We've got a publicity board, but a circular fountain. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. We're going to make the front of the school look very fancy. Why can't I put a fountain down? Needs to be placed on the ground. Oh, yeah, we're in the air. We're in the air. Hang on a minute. Hang on. We know how to do that. Yay, there we go. We're not in the air anymore. So pop that there and that there. 
They did tell me to use my money wisely. There we go. Lots of lovely fountains. Very nice. Right. Okay. Do you know what we could do, actually? Upstairs, we might possibly want to put a bin over in that bit there, just to make things tidier. Possibly even pop one into that room there. Okay. Right. So who's teaching in there, then? Ah, so Mr. Chang is teaching in there. So if we go to the planner thing, it says Betty Cupboard. <laughs> um, hang on, where are we? Wednesday. Uh, oh yeah, we're in the class meeting thing at the minute. We're in the first thing. So is Betty going to go and teach science? Why would that happen? I don't fully understand that. Um, okay, right. Handing your homework. They were saying all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so hang on. So that's, is that Betty? That's, that's Betty. Betty is teaching the science, and our science teacher has just sort of cleared off. Right. I don't fully understand what's happening there. <laughs> I don't get that at all, but okay. There's an admin department. So we can build a new room type now, can we? Can we do that yet? Can we build a new thing? Um, I know, the external affairs office. Do you know what? Let's get one of these in. Get one of these in just to see how it works. And we just pop it in over here. It's going to be fine. Requires at least 16 squares. Cannot be built inside the building. What? <laughs> Where's it supposed to be built then? I don't get it. Okay, out here. Right. We'll just we'll build it over here then. Hey, we're gonna build a new thing. It's it's five by five. Right. This is a bit weird. So it's uh got a thing, and I don't know what that is. I don't know what what are we building here? I genuinely don't know. Bicycle parking. Oh. Well, that's quite fun, though. Yay for bike park. Um, I get, oh, no, hang on. We're not We're not going to... No, 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 no. This, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. No, that's not right. The external affairs office seems to be um, a thing with a bike park in it, which I don't fully understand. <laughs> uh, I thought it was an office. Hang on, hang on. If this is a bike park, it should be at the front of the school, surely. Hang on, we'll put it, we'll put it over here, look. We'll just, there you go. Nice big thing just there. So put that in the corner and uh, we'll put another one down there and then we'll just have bike parks. This isn't, this doesn't look like an office. <laughs> it doesn't look very office -y to me. I suspect maybe this isn't quite right, but okay. Do you know what? There we go. You can park your bike. Um, we still can't tick this. Facility is unreachable. It must connect with the outside. It does connect. I've built it in the air. I've built it in the air. Hang on a minute. Yeah, okay. No, that, that does make sense. How about we build it on the floor? <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? I, I've heard that will help people reach it if we build it actually on the ground. I'm on the ground. Oh, we've learned to think. Right, hang on. Continue research. Entertainment. Just finish this first bit off. That's fine. Right. We're on the ground. We're definitely on the first floor. External affairs office. Okay. So drag that in. Build it like that. And now... Are we on the floor? So yes, we are. Okay, right. So we can have a bike rack and a bike rack and then a door. And then we can have another bike rack. But no, that's not right. Possibly over there. No, we can only have two bike racks. Right. Do you know what? It's a, we're just going to press OK with that. Um, several children in the village want to go to school, but they didn't know a new school opened up due to poor communication facilities. Invite them to join us and enjoy a happy life at school. That's not an office game. <laughs> That's not an office. Principal, have you heard? It seems there are visitors. Let's meet them. Okay. Oh, no, it's not them. Oh, no, it's some nice people. Hello. Come and have a look around. Hello. Welcome to Cupboard College. What are your names? Hello, we are headmasters from nearby school. I am Woodrow of Brightvale High. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm the principal of Muddington Elementary, Stanley. Uh, look at this campus disgusting. You look like a bad guy, Stanley. Uh, we heard after uh, that a brave person has succeeded the old headmaster and decided to pay you a visit. In the future, we must help each other and have healthy competition. I suggest you clean up the mess first. Trust me on this. Not just anyone can make a qualified headmaster. <laughs> Headmaster Stanley is right. Oh, okay. Take some time, rebuild. Wouldn't show an external affairs office. Come find us. Well, I was trying to build one of those, but it seems to contain bikes. All right, we'll leave you to it. Don't ever give up on becoming a great headmaster. See you. Goodbye. Why can't we invite them in? We've got an office. Why do we have to stand at the door and chat to them? Okay. <laughs> 
Press this back show. Right, okay, we're gonna do this and then we'll wrap things up. Okay, so children are at the fishery. So, okay. Uh, okay, select the personnel to dispatch. Um, okay, teachers who go out will not be able to work in school. Try to send teachers who leisure. If necessary, you can recruit new teachers. Okay, let's hire a new person then. Teacher employment, let's get who looks really good. Tracy Wilson's got some good numbers. You're really expensive. You must be amazing. Tracy, in you come. And we're going to send you away. <laughs> here we go. So click down here. Click there. Tracy's not doing anything. Dispatch Tracy to go and talk to some children out in the villages or something. Possibly. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. But okay, she's going to go and do a thing. Oh, we've completed all of the research things over in tutoring program. So now we're over here in new school on the block. So we can get an admin department unlocked. Okay, there we go. That student says, I'm severely short-sighted. I can't study here. Okay. Is that something that we need to deal with right now? Oh, hang on a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's that? What's that? Why is there a th Hang on, how big is this? <laughs> hang on, how big is the map? I wanna, what is that? There's, <gasps> a stray cat has come to your school. It's really cute. It looks like it wants a home. Do you want to adopt it? Yes, absolutely. Give it a name. Um, um, oh no, what do we call it? Hang on, Whiskers purring to oh no we can't call it whiskers i want to call it whiskers purring to but we can't do you, we, no do you know what we're going to call it we're going to call it bernard we're going to call you but bernard the cat has arrived take care of this little guy and raise it well okay so unpause time where is the cat where is the cat because the game did say yay there are cats now we don't know where the cat is um okay um okay he's just sending us some nice messages that's good it's better than him being horrible Where's the cat gone? I'm not quite sure where our cat is. I thought it might be over here with the cat things, but no. Okay, so now the dispatch team have arrived. They've got some problems. Um, waiting to process. Oh, they're here. Um, Tracy Wilson runs into an elderly woman that requires help. Well, you, you help them then. <laughs> do I have to tell you to do that? I shouldn't have to tell you to do that. That's a thing you should just do by being a nice person. Good grief. I think I've just seen the cat. I think I just saw the cat come in. There's the cat there. Hello, cat. How are you? Hang on. Where are you going? Immediately into the snacks. Do you know what? I'm fine with that. They just sat there. Look. Oh, there's a little cat. There's Bernard the cat. Okay, so how is everyone going to react to this? We need to get to the break. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Forget all the other stuff going on. Don't care about whether you're arriving at this event thing. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Where are you going? Where are you going? Can we follow you? Can we follow you? Yes, we can. We can. Oh, hang on. We have to follow you, but don't change the camera angle. Okay, so where are you going? You are lying on our desk for a bit. That's okay. We're teaching science for some unknown reason. Not quite sure why, but there we go. Um, I want you to see. I want to see how you interact with the students. Like, can they can they pet you or whatever? Do they do anything? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. We're giving you lots of things, look, to play with, Bernard. Bernard the cat, you've got a little kind of house and a whatever that is, like a cat tower thing and some food and stuff. So you are, yeah, being looked after, I think. I just don't know how we interact with you more than just staring at you and watching you doing so. Okay, Joe, it's fine. Bernard, you're very welcome here. Meow, sleepy. I mean, there's stuff here for you, Bernard. There's stuff here for you. You don't have to sleep on a desk or whatever. There's a proper little house for you, but okay, that's fine. The snack bar's closed because we're, I don't understand how we assign the teachers. Okay, right. I just want to get through to this thing now. Is that that person being mean? Yeah, he's just being mean. That's fine. We're going to get this dispatch team thing sorted. I want to get that done. And then I think we'll wrap things up because, yeah, we are looking at this quite a while. So, um, yeah, we've got the admin department done. Can we research anything else? Yes, we can. I mean, for the demo, the research tree is quite wide open. That's quite good. Staff lounge. I mean, yeah, we should. If we look at the schedule... We still, oh, we've still only got the two courses. I thought we'd learn how to do different things. Obviously not. No, never mind. Right, are we there? Yes. We've arrived to chat with the children in the village. When Tracy Wilson arrived at the village, speak with the village chief. The chief just told the kids to come look at the weirdo in the suit. What should I do next? <laughs> okay. The best way to bring in new students, tell them about fun, or talk about the importance of reading. Use your own teaching ability to inspire the kids to go to school. Um, okay, let's do that. Let's uh, let's talk about the importance of reading, shall we? Yay for words. Um, Tracy Wilson uses the teaching ability to tell the kids about the importance of learning, convincing some of the kids to apply. Okay, that's good. 
and now she comes home again. So five new applications. Okay, so I noticed that our original classroom had no windows in it at all, and all the students had little kind of eye icons above them, implying that they were trying to see in the dark. So I popped some windows in, which is quite good. Hopefully that'll help out a bit. And they're all doing lots of lovely science learning, which is very good. And yeah, it's exam day. I'm not quite sure when the exams take place. Um, yep, yeah, okay, he's being horrible to us again. I'm not quite sure when the exams happen. Is it after the fifth lesson or something? I don't really know. I don't know. But at some point, we're going to get the exam results in. And I think that will be a good point to leave it. But yeah, let's just see what we can do with the exam results. Hopefully we've done okay. I mean, yeah, there was one point where our influence dropped because these students were unhappy. But I think it was because they couldn't get any food because Betty Cupboard was teaching science rather than serving people food. Not quite sure how we deal with that because, yeah, the snack bar is now closed. But there we go. Um, oh, Betty Cupboard's got a new certificate. Okay, that's good. Okay, today's exam day. Let's go to the exam room. What will happen? Let's wait and see. Okay, so time until the exam. There's a teacher pacing around the room like they do. How did they do in the exam? And, uh, okay, final rating, medium. I'll take that, I'll take that, absolutely. So 11 out of 27 passed. Pass rate was 41%. I mean, that's not great, is it? But medium is okay, that's fine. Fine learning, 7,100 monies. Okay, that's fine. No influence bonus, but there we go. So we've done our first round of exams, which is okay. We get some nice things for it. And um, there we go, it goes to the next day. And I think now gone to the next day, we'll wrap things up for now with our little look at Let's School. I think we've had a very good look at the game to see how it works and what it's all about and all that kind of stuff. There's this week's targets, so that's very good. Um, yeah, oh, the new semester has begun. Let's start a speech. Oh, crikey. Oh, okay. <laughs> we didn't do this before. Who is that? Let's welcome the headmaster to give a speech. Right. Okay, there we go. In an apron, um, the audience now feels very calm. Okay, hang on, we have to do this. The audience don't seem to be very enthusiastic. Uh, okay, warm opening. Do a warm opening. Hello, students. Oh, okay, something happened. Some of them are jumping up and down. Mention exam. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. Let's talk about the lass. Okay, the audience feels calm. The atmosphere is going up. Um, let's, let's encourage. Let's encourage everybody. It's all right, you didn't pass or whatever. Okay, so we get to bump the atmosphere up. Um, okay, scholarship. Give out scholarships as encouragement. Let's do that. Now I will announce the... Yay, more stuff. Okay, we're doing quite well. Let's uh, let's do a finger heart. That sounds amazing. I love you all. Oh, Betty, we love you too. Um, okay, we did quite well at that. I mean, that, that would be what Betty would do. Confirm that. Um, congratulations on your first school speech. Um, let's see uh, what more you can do in your school in the future. Oh, is that it? Is that the end of the demo? Oh, there we go. I was going to kind of get to that point anyway and call it quits. But that makes sense. So we did all we could in the demo and now we've finished it. Well, there we go. That was very good. I like that. I like that. That's quite a lot of fun. I like the style. I like the kind of visual style to it. It's got a very unusual style. We've got a little kind of thing happening. That's quite fun. And you know, it played quite well. It looks like there's quite a lot to do. There's quite a lot to research and unlock. There's loads of items. That's very good. Many, many decoratives. There's a load of building to do. And look, you can build so much stuff. And you can build horizontally as well as vertically, which is very good. You can build upwards, which is wonderful. Yay for vertical building. It looks like you can change all the styles of the walls and everything else. There's loads of outside bits and bobs. Of course, as a cat, we had Bernard the cat, which is very exciting. So yeah, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. There are a few things that do need sorting out. There's a few little bugs. I saw people walking through walls and such like but you know what it's a demo that's absolutely fine so yeah i think we'll come back to this at some point in the future when it's a little bit more polished when it's yeah, a little bit more sort of improved a few bugs have been ironed out and there's more to do and it's a little bit more sort of intuitive as to how we go and do certain bits and bobs but uh yeah i've had a lot of fun with this hopefully you have as well if you have please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time she's still heartbroken <laughs> she's still sick Oh, Colleen, you're, it, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. Is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.